everyone. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. I am so happy it's Friday, the end of the week, and the weekend's coming up. I'm, gonna, I'm going to be spending some time with um, my son and um, one of my family members, so I'm looking forward to it, and I hope everyone is having a good or decent week so far. So in this video, I decided to do, well, before I get there, I just want to say that in the last video I uploaded, um... I do understand because I feel that I am quite intuitive. I feel we all have intuitive gifts. And um, I have a feeling that some of you was probably thrown aback or um, was put off in terms of the I look that I created. It was all about experimenting. Um, I feel that's a I feel that's a part of um, makeup is experimenting, going with what your gut tells you to do and just um, expressing yourself in the way that you want to express yourself. So um, I just want to put it out there. If anyone was put off or was just like, oh, I don't know about that look, I completely understand because you know, not every look is for everyone, but I do greatly appreciate those who did watch the video. Thank you. So now in this video, I am going to create an eye look <laughs> using my other Sydney Grace palette. I did a collaboration with um, the B Sydney Grace Be Mine palette with the lovely Rebecca. Um, I will try to remember to put her um, channel link in the description box. Um, feel free to view her channel, but we had did a collaboration. When, when was this? A, a couple of, or a few months ago? But we did the collaboration on the Sydney Grace Be Mine palette. She had the light version. I had the deep version. So I have another Sydney Grace palette that um, I had um, wanted to do a review. Well, not a review, a look on. And this is the Sydney Grace on the Horizon Deep palette. So as you can see, this has more of like a serene nighttime look. So this is more of a deeper palette and this is the deep version of this palette as well the shelf life of this is also 18 months and this particular palette is sydney grace collaboration with tatalia tatalia shelf life 18 months and the name is on the horizon now um i didn't break the shade this time my son was running around and he bumped into where i have my eyeshadow palette at this fell and one of the shadows did break um, but just so you guys get a look, this is the one that broke, but this is how it looks. And I did do swatches even and including this. So, um, here's a look at the palette and you can tell these are more deeper, darker, more bold colors. This is not for the neutral lovers out there. So if you're more into a bolder, um, look, this is a palette, it's, this is a palette for you. And here's a picture of the swatches. So, um, I, for the look I'm going to create, I'm only going to use three shades and I'm going to go bold. <laughs> I'm going to use a shade called Calming Presence, Infinite Echoes, and then in the corner I'm going to put Heart, Heart Dog. Okay, so let's start, I'm going to start off first with Calming Presence. I'm going to put this all over my eyelid and put it on my lower lid. Put a little bit above my eyelid, a little bit, yeah, like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And today I am going to wear the Dior lipstick that I purchased, the trans one of the um, Dior, the newest Dior transfer proof lipstick in the shade Deep Coral, which is called um, Forever Feminine number 647. So that will be the last thing that you will see me apply on this video. I have tried out the lipstick already. I actually ended up purchasing another one, and I really like it. It's one of the most transfer-proof 
weightless and comfortable wearing lipsticks I have tried thus far, to be honest with you. So that's this one color. So now I'm going to take this deep color and put in my crease, which is Infinite Echoes. Sort of blend this out a bit. And the last thing in terms of eyeshadow, I'm just going to pop this heart dog in the inner corner i'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to have a light hand and not put so much yeah something like that And so that's it for the palette. I'm gonna use put my brown, I'm gonna use my brown hourglass dark brown eyeliner. I actually need to restock on these because I love these so much, and these are literally the only eyeliners I've used that have been waterproof for my eyes, and my eyes tend to get very watery. I'm just gonna um, you know what? I am I'm gonna put this all I'm gonna put it on the lower and the upper one line. Thank God my eyes are not too watery where this one and um glide. Let me put on some mascara. And I am going to wear my false eyelashes. I don't know. I've been in the mood of in wearing um, false, um, false eyelashes. Not sure why, but I just have. <laughs> I do plan on getting more Sydney Grace palettes. I bought this, um, these two Sydney Grace palettes I have. I bought it from uh, Camera Ready Cosmetics website, and they have a they have more Sydney Grace palettes as well. I know Sydney Grace came out with, um, I think it's another palette, but it's if I can remember, it's like more of a neutral, um, neutral tone palette. And then I believe she came out with like single single eyeshadows or something like that. And um, I don't really care that I don't really care to try the single eyeshadows. But one of these days I'm gonna grab another one of her palettes because I really like the quality. Well, Sydney Grace, I don't even think it's a her, right? I'm saying she, right? I'm not familiar with the brand Sydney Grace, so you know what I, you know why I'm saying she because the name Sydney Grace sounds like a feminine or woman name. But my apologies to anyone out there if you are aware that if it is if Sydney Grace is not a woman, my apologies. So so let me just address it as Sydney Grace. So I will be soon getting a grab of Sydney Grace palettes. I'll try to be gender neutral, because <laughs> um, I'm not familiar with the brand. To be honest, I just was shopping on that website, Camera Ready Cosmetics, and I saw this, this these palettes and it got good reviews and I read up on it, so I bought it, so I don't know anything about the brand Sydney Grace. I don't even know if that's a person or anything, I'm being honest. But if anyone knows that it's not a woman or anything, my apologies, and I will instead just be gender neutral because I don't really know. <laughs> but I like this eye look so far. So I put on some mascara. So, um... 
I'm going to put on my false eyelashes. You know what? No, I'm going to do that last. Let me put on the lipstick. So this is the Dior Transfer Proof Lipstick. I already wore it because I wanted to test it out. I'm just looking at the vanity mirror to see how my eye is looking. Okay, I like it. So this is shade number 647, named Forever Feminine. This is considered to be a deep coral color. I'm going to do a swatch here and here just so you can also get an idea of how it looks on a lighter background and a deeper background. Okay, let me just wipe this off. Okay, so now I'm ready to apply it. The retail value of the lipstick is $42. It is expensive. But I really like the feel of it. So that's why I did purchase another one, which I'm going to show you guys the other one I did purchase. Oh, this looks nice with this with this look. Oh, this looks really nice. Let me just clean it up a bit. This looks really nice. I really like this um, lipstick with this eye look. Oh, in terms of the job that I'm hoping to get, I'm waiting to hear from them because they said that um, the next step is for me to meet with the hiring committee. I'm not sure what's going to go on there because um, I had to write, I had to submit a writing sample because for this position, this particular job that I applied for, and um, it's a highly skilled job and um, you have to have your master's degree or higher, things like that. Um, so they really wanted to see how I write. So I don't know if they're going to ask me questions about my, my essay, the writing sample that I had to submit. But um, I did the first interview. I did the shadowing. I submitted a resume. I gave my references. So now they said... Um, I'm expecting to meet with the hiring committee. They asked me what was my availability this upcoming week. I told them I'm free all day next Friday. I'm taking Friday off from work. They don't know that I'm presently, they don't know where I'm working at, at this time. But I told them I'm free all day next Friday. So I'm hoping, I'm looking forward to hearing from them and letting me know a time. And I'm really hoping to get this job. It's a much better paying job. Um, we're talking about like, whew almost 20,000 more. Like it's a really good paying job considering I'm a single mom with one child and it's more of, I'm more passionate about this job. And um, yeah, so just wish me the best. So this is the lipstick. It feels very, so comfortable. It feels very weightless. I like this color, especially paired with this eye look. The blush that I'm wearing is, um, um, which blush? Oh, this is a deeper shade from that blush, Pat McGrath blush duo, Night Bloom. So I'm wearing the berry side. Well, I'm calling it berry side. I'm wearing this side on my cheeks here. I put it on lightly because I could have built it up, but I didn't want to put too much there. Um, now the bronzer and the, and the contour that you see here, these are the um, colored rain bronzer and contour this is i use as a contour this is coco goddess and then mocha queen i use as a bronzer here and then the highlighter is the pat Mc, one of my pat mcgrath's highlighters i just love her highlighters so um now i'm gonna put on my eyelashes um i'm gonna fix my hair and i'll be back we'll we'll, t we'll talk some more i'll talk some more i'll be back I'm back. So this is my look for today. I really like this eye look and I think more people's gonna like this eye look because it's not all out there. <laughs> 
but this is a very pretty palette I don't remember the cost I, I'm pretty certain it's 50 something dollars for this palette and this lipstick is so nice I'm gonna kiss my hand I'm just cuz I put sunscreen on my skin so I'm just rubbing it in I'm gonna kiss my hand and let's see how much transfers on my hand I don't see anything Wow. Now I'm going to do this side. Nothing. Nothing. I, didn't, I did not put translucent powder. I didn't set it or anything. And it's, it's like, wow. I really like these lipsticks. That's why I bought a second one. The second one I bought, let me just show you guys real quick. This is 866. The name of this is Forever Together. This is considered a brown red color. Let me do a swatch here on my hand. It's a brownish red color and on this side. Very nice, very nice. It's $42, but I don't mind spending that kind of money for a lipstick that performs the way I like. <laughs> so, all right, let me get going. I gotta get going to work and um, although I will be um, spending time, well, I consider this weekend family time for me. If I can, I'll try to make a video because I'm expected to get my Colored Rain collections. I think it's either today or tomorrow. I'm supposed to get the Queen Bee collection I ordered and the Secret Garden collection. So if I have time, I'll try to do a video of um, me doing a look with one of those or both of them. Who knows? Let's see how, I'll see how things turn out um, while my son and one of my family members is here with me. All right. Have a beautiful and wonderful Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're newly, if you're, if this is your first time viewing this video, if you enjoyed it, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll be back soon. Have a blessed and beautiful day, everyone. Bye.